Should the Knicks try to trade for DeMar DeRozan? The NBA's unofficial trade season is just a week away, and recent rumors link the Knicks to the Bulls' DeMar DeRozan, a six-time All-Star facing unrestricted free agency following three middling years helping lead Chicago's core. At 7-14, the Bulls could blow things up imminently, seeking a return on their investment instead of watching him walk this summer. DeRozan's having a down year, but isn't far removed from a career year in 2021-22, in which he averaged 27.9 points, 5.2 rebounds and 4.9 assists on 50.4% shooting from the field. If he weren't in this apathetic situation, he'd likely be producing at an all-star level and is still widely considered a top 50 talent and one of the best mid-range artists in the game. On the other hand, he excels best with the ball in his hands, sound familiar, and only underscores New York's spacing issues. So should the Knicks pursue a deal for Durazan? The case for trading for Durazan. Some fundamental truths about this Knicks team, they aren't competing for a championship with their current roster, and MVP caliber trade targets are both extremely rare and difficult to acquire. That leaves New York grabbing out of the all-star bucket, a collection of high-level but flawed talents that could theoretically take them over the top. Is Durazan that guy? He's a tougher on paper case to make than a Donovan Mitchell or an Aganunobi, but due to his impending contract expiration, he should be easier to trade for and a risk-free gamble in the long term. If the move stinks and all you gave up was Quinton Grimes, Evan Fournier, and a late 2024 first-round pick, you can move off to Razan this summer and still have the assets left over to pursue a better fit. So the worst-case scenario leaves you down but not out, and the upside is certainly there. Durazan is a certified top-tier scorer, currently putting up 21.9 points, 3.5 rebounds and 4.8 assists on 45.3% shooting from the field. When he's locked in he's much more efficient, a two-point range savant that can wear defenders down in isolations and pick and rolls. He's devastatingly clutch, shrewd at drawing whistles and can contribute enough outside of his scoring when called upon. His passing is also vastly underrated due to his current offensive system dampening its impact, as he averaged over 7 assists per 36 minutes in his last season in San Antonio.